Hi there, Jamie Good here. Spot of late night wine. Um, and tonight we'll be looking at some Greek wines, just two. Um, these are both from a recent um, selection um, that have been offered by the Wine Society here in the UK, which is good to see. And these are two that really stood out for me. First of all, Hatsidakis Santorini, that's where it comes from. And this is 2009 vintage. And the grape varieties here are Assertico, which is relatively famous as Greek varieties, Greek grape varieties go. Um, also Aldani and Atiri. Um, and I think one of the fun things about Greek wine is that Greek wines are usually, not always, but usually made from um, indigenous varieties, a bit like Portugal. Um, the Greek grape varieties you don't find them many other places and they're quite interesting and it adds something extra to um, the interest of Greek wines. So let's try this one. Lovely nose, melon, quite aromatic, quite rich, but not just blousy. There's, there's a lovely um, almond sort of savoury dimension there as well. Really quite profound actually, really, really interesting nose. The palette is um, lovely. It's got it's got texture to it. So it's a, quite a rich. There's a richness. There's a texture. There's this combination of fruit, but also non-fruit complexity. Some savouriness. Bit of pear. Bit of citrus pith. Um, even some of that elusive quality minerality. It's a lovely wine, it's, it's, it's got richness but it's also got balance and restraint. Um, I think that's really good. Top marks. Next up, um, this is interesting, this is um, a grape variety that I've tried a few times, so every time I've tried it I've found it fascinating. It's called, um, what's it called, Zina Mavro. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but Zina Mavro. Um, um, and this is um, from Domain um, Thymiopolis. And why I like Mazina Mavro is it's kind of it's it's edgy, it's it's complex, it's a bit like Nebbiolo in some ways, it's got some of that edginess and complexity. Um, and um, I should say also that the, the, both these wines are priced the same, £10.95, so they're not expensive wines. They're really, really well priced, um, considering the complexity. Just a lovely nose. Oh yes, it's um, really aromatic. It's got this kind of sweet and sour character. Very ripe, sort of griot cherry sort of um, sweetness, but also savoury, sort of slightly... Um, mineral, slightly earthy edge to it that, that complements the sweetness of the fruit really well. The palette, very nice. Um, it's got some tannin, got some grip. Um, a bit like Nebbiolo, it's got some tannic grip to it that that is almost tending towards austerity, but the fruit brings it back because it's got this delicious cherry fruit character. Um, you know, this is um, not an expensive wine. It says on the front, young young vines of, of Zin and Mavro. Um, so this is, you know, presumably not the most ambitious um, version of Zin and Mavro, yet it's got deliciousness, it's got complexity, elegance as well. It tastes quite natural. It's almost got some Pinot Noir character. Yeah, both of these wines, I think, are, are really super. They're great value for money. They've got personality, they've got edges, um, and they're made from Greek grape varieties grown in Greece. So for that reason, I heartily recommend them. Thanks for watching. See you soon.